Hey coaches, Kim Carver here. As you know, next week we are launching um, our brand new coach office. We are so excited about that. And what we wanted to do as we were getting ready to launch here is just give you guys as leaders a quick, uh, I guess, peek or a view of the new graphical genealogy. Now I did a, a quick run through um, of the, the new coach office last week uh, that went out and kind of walked people through things. Uh, but we didn't talk about the graphical genealogy and how that works. And so we wanted to just show you because while most of it is the same, there are some really cool features and some enhancements to it that we want to make sure that you are aware of. So I'm going to try to navigate and walk you through this at the same time here. Um, the first thing I want to talk about really is how you access it. So here is our new coach line on office. To get to it, you'll go to the monitor, my business tab, and right down here it says graphical genealogy. You're going to click on that, and that will bring up the graphical genealogy uh, behind it here. We'll let it load for just a second. So maybe you're asking, well, what's different about it? Well, you can kind of see here. As I walk through this, I have to say, this video right here is really intended just for you as leaders to get a look at, at how some of the features and some of the field, this is all test data is what I'm saying, as you can tell by the beautiful image representing the Beachbody corporate here on the graphical interface. Um, but it, this, all this, all the data and stuff here is, is, I mean, all the information here is pulling from test data. And so this probably isn't a training you're going to want to push out and really make public. We are going to do some um, updated trainings uh, that will be released next week that will have uh, a better presentation of the data itself. But at least with this test data, I can walk you through uh, right now ahead of time uh, what it's going to look like and some of the key features so you can be prepared and you can be ready to answer questions as they come in for you. We just didn't want you to get um, you know, caught off guard or, or not be prepared to be able to hand, handle those should they come up. So let's start first with what's different here on the top right here. Well, the first thing that you can see is we're going away from just using those icons and now we're going to be using coach images. Um, and those coach images, the important thing is as coaches set up their websites and they upload a profile pic, that's where that picture will be will be shown. You'll see it right here. And that's actually a really cool thing if you think about it because now you'll get a feel for which one of your new coaches are actually logging in and setting up their website. You can do that just by looking, hey, is there a picture there? If they haven't put a picture there, you now know that coach really probably hasn't gone in and set up their website or logged into to their coach office and done all of that. So it's a really cool little, I guess, side benefit for having that picture there in addition to making it a lot more uh, I guess uh, um, easier to look at as opposed to icons. It helps you get to know your downline better and everything. So the pictures are there. All right. The second thing is a streamlined placement uh, features that I'm going to walk through a little bit more in just a second here, and you're going to really like it. But that's a new thing that you'll see. The third thing, the context of the structure that you're looking at is maintained during navigation. Let me let me give you a quick example of what I mean. If I just go over here real quick and let's go to the bottom, and let's say that I want to look at this coach right here, Beach by Test, I want to see below them, I would click on that arrow right there. Now, when I looked at this coach in the current coach office, it would take this coach and put him to the very top of the screen, and I would lose all the information of the upline above them. Now, when I click on that arrow, it opens up everybody below that coach, Okay, I'm scrolling over so you can kind of see it here. It opens up everyone below that coach. Gosh, here, how come I can't get over there? Let me move over. Sorry, hold on, just a little there, get loaded. Sorry, we're still in test here, so you have to be patient with us as we, we get this. Um, but it opens up everyone below that coach, as you can see right here, but it also continues to maintain that upline um, uh, connection as well. So that just makes it a little bit easier for you to, to be able to uh, track and see what you're looking at there. Okay, all right, what else is new? There is this thing called the sticky header, okay? Now, when I say header, um, it, it's it, this, it, what I'm referring to are these little buttons on the side where it says place, bottom left, top, and bottom right. As you scroll down through, the organ, uh, through your organization here, you'll notice that that head, header appears again right at the top here, these main shortcut navigation buttons, um, making it easier to kind of navigate through your coach office, all right? So... That's the main things that are new. There's a couple more details I need to give, all right? So I want to do a quick walkthrough to do that. Um, first, I want to talk about what these header shortcuts mean because you can tell they're, they're pretty important. Um, let me start with place. When you click on place, what it does is it brings up the preferred placement module. And the important thing that I want to make sure that we, we point out here is this is very similar to what you've got right now, um, a little bit easier, more intuitive. Um, but whatever settings that you save, whenever you do any kind of placement setting, whatever the last setting was you use, that is saved and applied to all of subsequent coach enrollments, all right? 
So when we look at uh, preferred, preferred placement type, we can do automatic, right? And whenever we do automatic, um, um, as it says right here, it goes on the outside weak leg. Um, or we can do set the preferred placement and we can type in the specific ID that we want here and which leg that we want that to go on. All right, so that's, that's what the place button does. And there's actually other options to do preferred placement. I'll show you in just a second, but we're just reviewing right now the header shortcuts. The bottom left uh, shortcut here, okay, what that does is it jumps you to the most, uh, the bottom most coach on your outside left leg. So if I click on that, this is now the bottom most coach on my outside left leg, right? There are 522 levels between me and that coach. This is who that person is, all right? And so um, this, if you want to jump to this and then you could click on again the place button right underneath them. This is where I want to put my coaches. I can click on that and I can set automatic. It automatically drops that, that ID in there for me. And then again, I can check preferred placement. I want to put this on maybe his right leg or weak outside leg or first available or whatever you select to, to place and whatever the strategy is, that option is there for you, all right? Now, as you might imagine then, if I click top, well, top just takes me to the very top of my organization, which is you, all right? So that just jumps me right back up to the very top of my organization. And again, as you might expect, if you click on bottom right, it does the same thing the bottom left did, but this time it takes you to the bottom most coach on your outside right leg same thing right and so if I want to place someone under them here I would just click on place and now I could check automatic or set preferred placement and do whatever I wanted to do uh, in terms of setting coaches there all right and again you can see that that sticky header pops right up makes it easier to jump navigate back into my office okay so a couple things I want to point out in terms of the new look first um, when it comes to active status you have these little red dots meaning inactive all right and then you have little green dots, meaning active. If you don't like colors, you can also just look at the words right underneath the picture that say inactive um, or active, but the green dots and the red dots are a quick way to do that. Also, light and gray. Canceled coaches are grayed out, okay? Non-canceled coaches, even if they're inactive, are still uh, are lighter color. We keep the gray ones, uh, coaches, in there because in a lot of cases we just to maintain the integrity of the genealogy. While they aren't really counted in terms of being placement sponsors or anything else, they do still uh, kind of maintain the integrity of the organization. So that's why they're still there. Um, another thing, so when you look at, we'll just look at Poindexter here. When you look at the, uh, um, the little tile here that belongs to the coach, Right underneath them, you will see their current rank. In this case, Beachbody Corporate is a coach. If it was a one-star, it would say one-star, or, or an emerald coach, it would say emerald coach. Whatever their current coach rank is, that's what that is right there. Also, as you scroll down um, and you start going into different levels in your business, in the top right-hand corner of their little tile there, you'll see the number, and that represents the level um, that they're occupying in your business. Now, of course, in the beginning, it might not be that big of a deal, one, two, three, but once you get down 40, 50 levels, it would be, it's handy to be able to see right away what level those people are occupying or those coaches are occupying in your business, okay? And finally, if you want to find out um, the coach details, kind of more of the coach himself, you just click on the name, right? So in this case, let's go down here and find somebody else. Let's go see, we'll get away from us. Let's go down, look at Beachbody Test Test. Again, this is just test data, so it's kind of, you know, not as pretty, but you get the idea. So if we click on that, right, so now we go into more coach details. What we can see here on a co the coach details page is just the general information about the coach, their name, their join date, their contact information. And then if we get down here right away, we can just see some simple information about them, their volume, right, their projected personal volume, their customer PV, projected customer PV, their left leg TV, their right leg TV. We can also then go into then their genealogy, right? Their paid rank, their lifetime rank, their qualification status, their sponsoring coach, where their placement coach is at, um, and then how many uh, uh, coaches they have in each one of their legs. You can also then click on their orders. If you click on that tab, it takes just a second to, uh, to populate, uh, but it will go and actually pull up a history of all that coaches or that, that individual's orders. So you can take a look and see um, where, where volume's coming from, what's happening with that, et cetera, et cetera. So, just take a second here there it goes it pulls itself back up again and you can scroll through that and see the information on it again this is all just dummy data um, for testing purposes but you get the idea okay so jumping back out here um, 
I want to take just a second and talk about setting preferred placement. But before I do that again, I just want to remind everybody, like we always do when we talk about preferred placement, that the that the last preferred placement change you make is saved. And all coach enrollments will use that setting until you change it again. So do not forget that, especially now because you have other ways to set preferred placement. And you might do something that you mean to just apply one or two coaches to and then forget to change it back. So don't forget. All right. So when it comes to setting preferred placement, now there are a few options that you've got. The first one is the one I just showed you, clicking on place, right? I can click on place either here, okay, right here, and it brings up the preferred placement um, module. Or again, if I scroll down, that sticky head, uh, head, um, bar comes across the top and I can click on place there. It brings up the exact same preferred placement module, all right? So that's the first one. And again, if you set automatic, it places coaches on your outside weak leg. Don't forget that. Um, there also is what I, I kind of demonstrated to you before, right? So you can use these bottom left or bottom right um, um, tabs. And if you click on that, it can take you to the, the very bottom of the organization itself, where you can click place to open up that same preferred placement dialog, select what you want for that coach in terms of preferred placement, and, and you can apply preferred place, set your preferred placement um, that way, all right? The third option is a really cool one that I wanted to point out, right? So again, that place is any, you can see any organization or any coach has that place button and just clicking on that brings up that preferred placement um, um, dialog box, right? So that's there. But this one I think is really cool. Check this out. So on your tile right here, you have these two options. Go to my first available position on my left or on my right. And if you click on that, it takes you to the first open spot on your left leg, right? So in this case right here, let me scroll down so you can kind of see it. Six levels down, I've got this coach right here who's canceled. And then I've got this vacancy, okay? It looks like a chalk outline here, but it's a, it's a vacancy here. If I click on fill, okay, what it does, again, just like with those other ones, is it automatically places the ID there. I can choose where I want to place that, um, or I can just set it to automatic. Okay, but the cool thing about this here is again, is it pre-populates that for you. It finds that information for you. I can do that on the left, or I can also do that same thing on the right, and I can just place them right there. Anytime as I'm scrolling through my genealogy, um, and, I can, and I can see those empty spots, there's always gonna be that fill button right next to it that you can just click, and you can directly set the preferred placement to, to put the next coach in that spot. But again, remember, if you do that, it will continue to set that uh, put uh, follow that same um, setting that you set for itself. Even when you click just fill, just meaning to do it one time, it'll, can, it'll save that as being where you want to put, put subsequent coaches. So make sure that you, don't, um, that you don't forget that. So anyway, that's a quick walkthrough of the graphical genealogy. Really, really cool, really, really intuitive, simple to use. Um, on your mobile device, it's, it's actually the exact same interface. The only difference is, is it doesn't show three levels deep just because that would make it really crowded on the phone, but it's all the options, all the things I just showed you, the exact same on your Coach Office mobile. Very simple, very intuitive. So as you go through this, if you've got questions about it, go ahead and ask me the question in the comment and just tag me so I can see it, and I will answer it or I will find the answer and, and get that to you. So appreciate all you guys do. Thank you so much. Hope you're having a great day. And have a great week, and you guys, excited to get this new coup out to you. Thanks. Bye-bye now.